How goes it, everyone? Welcome to something slightly different. This is the Sega Genesis game, one of my all-time favorites, Toe Jam and Earl. This is a game I grew up with, and, um, well, I still love it just as much as I did back then. Um, it's a game with a really unique sense of style. It is one of the, uh, the funkiest games, one of the most jamming games, if you will. And it doesn't sound very convincing when I say it, does it? Um, regardless, it's really, really good. And we're going to be doing a full playthrough here. Uh, no breaks, nothing. Um, we're going to play one player, obviously, although the game is actually bl uh, best played in two players, but, well, I'm here alone right now. Um, I'm going to explain the game as we go along, but uh, before I get started, there are basically two options you can start out with. You can do a random world or a fixed world. Uh, the way the game works is that you're always going to end up going through 25 levels. Um, fixed world means those 25 levels are always the same. Random world means those levels are actually randomly generated with some uh, interesting and typically more difficult content. So uh, we're going to be doing that just to make things interesting. Let's hop right in, shall we? So this is uh, what the game looks like. Now, if we were to classify this game into a genre, uh, it would actually be roguelike, believe it or not. Um, if you played this game as a kid, you probably didn't think about that, but it actually makes a whole lot of sense when you get right down to it. We've got randomly generated levels, we have uh, permanent game overs, I'm not going to say permanent death because you do have lives, but um, there are no continues in the game. Um, there's the difficulty level, of course, but uh, I think the random the random nature of the game um, really really contributes to that sense of this being really a roguelike. And in fact, the developers of the game were, in fact, fans of Rogue. Um, Rogue, of course, came out in 1980. Toe Jam and Earl came out in 91, so there was a little bit of time there, and obviously uh, there were games that were roguelike already out, but uh, as far as I know, this is a pretty unique game, especially for the time. I mean, I'd never played anything like it when I was a kid, so yeah, pretty cool. Anyways, um, like I said, there are going to be 25 levels over the course of the game. The goal is to get back all the pieces of your rocket ship, uh, because Earl crashed the rocket ship into Earth, um, and basically those 25 ship pieces are scattered throughout the levels. Uh, basically randomly. There's always going to be one on level 25, which is why 25 is the last level. Um, but essentially, all you have to do is collect all 10. And I say all you have to do, but this game is actually freaking difficult, so we'll see how it goes. Uh, you make your way to the next level by taking the elevator. And you're treated to some other nice beats and cool backgrounds. Now, I said the game is best played in, uh, in multiplayer, or two-player, I guess, and that, that's true. You get a lot more uh, funny dialogue between the characters, which is kind of neat. And in addition to that, um, the game just seems to play better in multiplayer. I don't want to buy any of these, and I can't afford them anyway. Um, the way that they handle multiplayer, or two-player, again, it works really well, actually. You can stay on the same screen, but you can actually split up, and it'll go to a split screen only when necessary, so it's kind of cool. Um, by the way, yes, this is supposed to be Earth, believe it or not. So, each of these levels, as I said, is going to be randomly generated, um, and the goal is to find your way through them all, collect all the ship pieces, and uh, make your way through. That's pretty much it, but uh, there are a lot of enemies in the game that are going to make that very difficult for us. These guys, not such a big deal, because, well, we're on the earlier levels, but uh, when the ice cream, trucks, uh, ice cream trucks start appearing, that's when I will go into my uh, PTSD-induced panic attacks, but uh, we don't talk about that. Ugh. Anyways, <laughs> um, one thing that makes the game convenient or one convenient feature, I guess you would say, is that uh, the game will tell you when you enter a level whether or not there's a ship piece. So it'll pop up with a little dialog box. Alternately, you can open your map and hit this, and it'll tell you no pieces on Toe Jam's level. So I know that I don't have to spend a great deal of time roaming around trying to figure out where the heck everything is. And if I look on my map, I can actually see the elevator there. 
Uh, there is a point to uncovering map tiles beyond just finding the elevator. Uh, if I go into my menu here, you'll see I have 16 points. Uh, points are basically experience points, so you will level up as you get more. Um, you get experience points by killing enemies, opening map tiles using presents, which we'll talk about in a moment, and probably even other things that I'm not thinking of at the moment. Wow, I have a lot of this one. Alright, so the presents, um, I'm going to go ahead and just... I got three of these, I'm going to use one. Um, I'm going to get next to the elevator, however, in case something horrible happens. Sweet. Okay, so the presents... Let's get in the elevator. The presents are, like the levels, randomly generated. Um, every time you start a game, whether you do random or fixed world, actually, the presents are always going to be different. So, each present of the same design, same color, is always going to be the same in that playthrough. Uh, however, you will not know what they are until you use them. So, for instance, I just used that one. It was a fudge sundae, and a fudge sundae is actually a health restore, and a significant one at that, so... Useful. Good to know. Uh, you may have noticed... I'm just gonna be talking about random things as they pop up, I guess. The level uh, just sort of appeared in front of me. That's uh, a big element of this game. If you see an edge that looks like it should connect to something, it probably does... well, look at that. <laughs> it probably does connect to something. No ship pieces here, so, uh, yeah. Um, as I was saying, yeah, it probably does connect to something, so, um, there are a lot of opportunities to find sort of secret areas and make your way across gaps that otherwise would probably be insurmountable. Now, the telephone is a uh, sort of a little random event that can happen. You activate it, and it'll open some random map tiles for you, which, situationally, is a very useful thing. Uh, in this case, I guess I'm just going to go ahead and go for the elevator. Now, there's another reason, in fact, that you would want to uncover map tiles, and that is because uh, you can actually end up falling down. You may notice that uh, a big portion of the level is actually sky, well, you can fall down, and it'll take you back down to the previous level um, at a semi-random point. So you could potentially end up in an area you haven't been before, and then bad things happen to you. Now, the game picks up momentum pretty quickly um, as far as the difficulty goes. You notice I'm just blazing through these first levels. Yeah, I figured there would probably be a ship piece here. Incidentally, if you are offended by my language, I'm saying ship piece, not what it sounds like I'm saying. <clears throat> but we don't. We, we won't dwell on that. Alright, this little dude over here, I'll say little, but he's actually taller than me, is one of the more useful characters in the game. Uh, for the paltry sum of two dollars, or two bucks, he will identify a present for you. And because um, certain presents are actually bad things. It's very useful, so I'm just going to pick one at random here. Let's go with uh, this one. Randomizer. Excellent, actually. Um, the randomizer is one of the presents that I don't want to open. Basically what it does is it will swap all your presents around and, well, randomize them. So these fudge sundaes will get turned into something else, and next time I find a present of this color, it will not be a fudge sundae. Um, so actually, although there is a present that just outright kills you and you lose a life, the randomizer is almost worse because you can stock up, you know, some really useful items and then just have them all, all gone in one swoop of fate, I guess. You may notice that I'm walking on the road, that's because you move faster on the road, so useful. And that is a level up. I'm now a doofus, so yeah. So let's talk about the uh, the sort of aesthetic of the game, both in terms of its visuals and then in terms of just its style as far as audio and dialogue and that sort of thing. The game is very famous actually for its setting and its... Oh, we got another telephone. And just its sense of style, really. Um, the game really sort of serves as a, a representation of sort of 90s urban... I'm not going to say urban life, but uh, certainly urban slang and urban style. 
uh, which is pretty cool, actually. Like I said, it's still pretty unique. Um, the way the characters talk, dress, and act are very clearly supposed to be sort of, again, 90s urban adolescence, I guess. Or not necessarily adolescence, but who, who knows. Um, the game also has sort of a dim view of humanity. <laughs> um, this is a large level. Um, over the course of the game, the enemies that you find are sort of very cynical representations of, uh, well, reality, I guess. Um, I'm not going to talk about any of those, though, until we see them, and then we'll, we'll get into that. Now, you can swim, um, but you'll notice if I jump in, my health starts decreasing. No air, no separate air bar, so if your health gets down to zero, you are dead. The Hula Dancer is one of the more iconic enemies of the game, actually. <laughs> they do no damage, but they make you dance. Which seems harmless enough until you are under attack by like seven other enemies, and then you just get horribly murdered, because... Darn it, I'm just gonna dance. <laughs> I love this game so much. Wow, I already have too many presents, okay. So you can only hold a certain amount, as you might imagine. I've got two of these, let's go ahead and use them. Alright. That present is an unfall. Yeah. Unfall is pretty useful. Uh, basically, if you've been to the level above where you're at, um, it will unfall you. So you, it'll take you back up one level, basically. Again, that only works if you've already been up one more level. I do have another duplicate, which is this one, so let's go ahead and use that as well. Okay, that's not so good. The rain cloud basically follows you around and shocks you at random. Okay. Uh, but I do have multiples of those, so I'll just go ahead and use the other one. The reason being that I actually get uh, experience for using it, even if it's a bad present, so... Why not? Ideally, you would use your rain cloud um, right before you go in the elevator, because it will actually disappear. It won't go between levels. And I do have two fudge sundays, which I don't really want to use, but I can if it, you know, gets close enough to killing me. Uh, we're gonna go this way. I... Should I go this way? I don't think swimming right now is a good idea, since I only have a tiny bit of health left. Now, there are also food items on the ground. This is moldy cheese, not pizza or regular cheese. I don't know what it looks like. Don't eat that. It hurts. Uh, if you see a fudge sundae on the ground, on the other hand, that's probably safe to eat. There are no poisoned fudge sundaes in the game. Alright. And remember, on this level, I'm actually... Yes, thank you. I'm actually looking for a ship piece and a, uh, well, the elevator. Now, I'm just going to briefly bring it up, because it doesn't really have much relevance to the, uh, I guess I'll use this. It doesn't really have much relevance to the, uh, the playthrough that we're doing right now. Um, this is my first actual video recording with DX Tori. I typically have used Fraps in the past, so hopefully you're noticing, uh, increased quality in the audio department. We'll, we'll go ahead and that. Uh, DX Tori has some really cool features. I guess they're both right in the center there, in the middle of the water. Um, has some really cool features that Fraps does not, and those include splitting the audio streams, which is the main one, honestly. Oh, I see Santa Claus. No, I'm not joking. So, oh gosh, dang it. Hmm. Yeah, I don't need to tell you what that does. <laughs> um, I don't really want to use another present so early, but... Well, I guess I gotta use one of these. Super High Top's one of the most useful items in the game, actually. You automatically start with four of them. They let you run, and they also let you jump if you hit a gap. So what I'm going to do here is get the shark to go over here. Uh, over here, pal. And there you go. That should get me across without getting horribly chomped on. 
there's piece number one. Incidentally, don't get too excited if you end up, uh, that was the randomizer, right? Yep. This game will also test your memory. <laughs> now, where the crap is the elevator? Oh, the elevator's right there. Got it. Sometimes, even if you can't see it on your, uh, your screen, because the map is organized into tiles, um, you can still see it on the map. Anyways, um, I was saying something about something. Yes, DX Story. Um, no, they're not paying me to say this, by the way. Uh, so far, I'm liking it better than Fraps. The other cool thing you can do with it is you can record uh, in a lower resolution or a different resolution and a different frame rate than what you're actually playing in, so that's pretty cool. So I'm playing at, like, 60 right now, but I'm actually recording at 30 because YouTube only renders at 30. Okay, we've got another ship piece here. That's useful. As you can imagine, this one is a random present every time you open it, so... And that's a little bit too Russian roulette-esque for me. And actually, I don't need to carry this because if I pick up another one, it will still say randomizer. Okay, so here we have one of our um, misanthropic representations of human life. This is the, uh, the crazed mother in the shopping cart with her obnoxious whiny child. Um, she does actively seek you out and try to kill you. Even though, you know, she's supposed to be just randomly walking around. Occasionally she will stop and yell at her child. Her child will yell back. And yes. There's another enemy over there that I kind of wanted to show you, but... I kind of don't. <laughs> uh, I'm sure we'll, we'll see him again, or we'll end up just going over there. The difficulty, as I said, amps up ridiculously so. Um, we're not even... I'm not even guaranteed to win. I mean, you don't win every every playthrough of Toe Jam and Earl, and that's just how it is. Alright, I do have one of those, so let's try it. Ah, okay. So that present is an Earthling, which summons an enemy. Not so good, but I didn't get one of the worst ones. That was the Nerd Herd. That's the official name. Um, they just basically trample you. Uh, please don't trample me again, though. Thank you. Uh, still no ice cream trucks, so... We're still okay. Bees do not scare me. Um, oh, I think I see it. You see that? Down into the right? Yep. Let me just see if there are any food items readily available here. Nope, nope, nope. Abort. The Cupid, by the way, doesn't actually deal any damage. However, when he shoots you, he reverses or just basically screws with your controls. So, uh, left may become right, up may become down, or, even worse, left may become diagonally up and right. That's, uh, yeah. That's one of the worst, worst ones you can get. Okay. Whoops. That's not good. So, one of the perks of leveling up, in addition to getting more health, uh, is that you will occasionally get extra lives. It's like every three levels, I think. So that's that's a good thing. You're gonna need them. Last time I did a playthrough of this, I had no lives left when I won. Oop, that is pie. Pie is good. Cherry pie, in fact. Tastes so good, make a grown man cry. And there's my extra life. Sweet. Anything else I can get rid of here? Do I have duplicates of any? Yeah, I have duplicates of this one. Alright, Rose Bushes is a pretty decent power up. It drops these behind you. And these don't actually damage enemies, but it will block enemies from following you, so. Yeah. But it, if you stand next to them, they will damage you, of course. That's reasonably helpful. So if I do that, see, he can't pass it. It's sort of an area denial uh, <laughs> item, I guess you would call it. You can only have one out at a time. So 
you can sort of manipulate that to keep from crashing into them. Just don't stand still when you use it. Alright, so there's nothing down there, most likely. There could be a hidden path, but I'm thinking over to the right is where I need to go. Rose bushes can very much save you, um, again, situationally. Uh, can I make that? I think I can. Yep. Do not try that one at home, kids. So see, even though this looks like you can't get across it, just from my experience playing this game, I know that it's most likely a hidden path. These bees have my number, apparently. Mm, I'm gonna try down. Playing the odds and picking the area with the larger area. Mm, okay. I can try up, but I guess I'm gonna try left, because that seems more likely to be where it is. Mm, yeah, there we go. Maybe? Now the mailbox can contain presents, or it can be a uh, an imposter. Sort of like a mimic. He will basically attack you. And it's unpleasant. Not as unpleasant th as this fellow, however. This is, um... I'm not going to risk using that with him around. Probably my least favorite enemy. Well, <laughs> second. But I don't talk about the first, uh, my most hated enemy. The, uh, the ice cream drunk. Ugh. Anyways, uh, the mole over here is truly one of the most jerkish enemies. He basically does no damage, but causes you to drop presents. Which is absolutely as horrible as it sounds. You can drop up to three, I believe, in a single hit. You may also notice that shadow that is creeping around. Yeah, screw you, buddy. That little shadow roaming around is, in fact, the boogeyman. Again, not making it up. Alright, let's try this now. Doorway. Okay. Um... Yeah, I can dig it. Sweet. The doorway, um, basically you walk through it, and it takes you to a random part of the level. That's about it. Um, again, situationally, you can very much save your life. Money. Or if you're just sort of at a loss for where to go, and you just feel like ending up in a random area. Potentially useful. Um, I want to get that, so I do have one more duplicate, which is this one. Oh dear! Okay, rocket skates. Good to know. Um, this is a pretty useful power-up. However, as you may notice, I don't actually have much control over it. In fact, I'm about to... <laughs> yeah. Well, this is the perfect opportunity to demonstrate a secret. Clearly, I was planning this all along. So, what I'm going to do is actually fall all the way down. This is as good a time as any to do it, I guess. Doesn't really matter at what point in the game I activate the secret. So as you can see, falling down basically drops me in a random point. If I'm fortunate, I'll, it'll be something like this, and I'll be right next to the elevator. If not, I may have to trek all the way across. Hey, look, money. I like money. money. Money's good. I should try and hunt down that carrot man. Was he on, uh, or the wise man, as he's called? He was on level two, right? I don't know. If I'm near him, I'll, uh, I'll use, use him. Notice you do not take any damage for falling. If you did, that would just be miserable. Alright, I'm pretty sure he was here, so I'm gonna go look for him. Uh, knowing what presents are before you open them, as you can imagine, is uh, very, very valuable. 
and I've got four bucks, so I can do basically two transactions. I, I think he was here, was he? Did I even go down here? Maybe. I don't know. He might have been on level three, I, I don't know. I'm not going to spend a huge amount of time looking for him, I guess. I already found the randomizer, so that's the main one. If I find the total bummer, and it, which is the one that kills you, eh. It sucks, but it's not the end of the world. Alright, so here's the deal. Level 1 actually has two secret islands on it. You can't make it to them by normal means, because your health drains too fast, and you would drown. However, if you have either Rocket Skates or Icarus Wings, which I hopefully have in here, because that's like the most useful power up in the game, um, you can make it either to the top right corner for a bunch of presents, or the bottom left corner for a secret level. And we're going to go for the secret level. Um, by the way, doorway does not work. If you walk in a doorway, it just takes you here, um, so you can't get, get over there that way. Um, and the the island in the top right corner with all the presents always has an unfall on it, so you can, you know, make your way back. Uh, anyways, let's go rocket skates and uh, go down, shall we? So there are always two presents on this uh, this island, and that's unlucky. I didn't want one of the random ones, really. Okay. So, if we fall down at level 1, that takes us to, as logic would dictate, level 0. This is level 0, and the point of level 0 is this sort of an easter egg. You can chill out in the hot tub. Believe me, you actually can. Yeah, there we go. Uh, it basically just restores your health, and you get to chat. Um, possibly even giggle, maybe chat, maybe titter, you know, you never know. Uh, however, it's useful to come down here even if you're not missing health because drinking the lemonade will grant you, wait for it, one free extra life. Now it's not like you can just come down here over and over again and, and do that, but it's useful once. And the other cool thing about level zero is that when you fall down, it actually takes you to the highest level that you've been to, which is pretty nice. So a lot of times, if I'm on one of the higher levels, mm, let's go to the right, and uh, I end up falling down, and I haven't been there yet, I'll just go ahead and drop down. So if I had been to level 24, it would take me to level 24. Um, oh no, I'm not going to deal with that. Fortunately, he usually won't be able to follow you into these areas. I say usually because sometimes he will, but typically the collision will be a little bit too difficult for him. That's right, you suck. Anyways. Yeah. Figured it'd be here. Any more duplicates I can use before... no? Okay. Up we go. So far so good. Five lives. I'm pretty... Pretty confident, but again, one level can pretty much wipe you out completely. So that's fun. Did I mention the music yet? I don't think I did. This is some of the best game music I've ever heard. Like, ever. Uh, sand. Beautiful. Sand is... Okay, we're gonna sneak by the Mad Dentist. Yes, that's a thing. That was the Rocket Skates, right? Um, darn, I don't really scared of that, I guess. Oh no, that was Earthling. Never mind, screw that. Don't need that. I guess I gotta wake him up. But first off, uh, sand, you actually sink down, and then you go slower, which is horrible. It's one of the worst things. Sand also means a certain enemy that only shows up on sandy levels, which I'm sure we will encounter, so no worries there. Or in my case, many worries. Anyways, this is the Mad Dentist. He's a jerk. He chases you with his drill, and when he hits you, I have to show you. Come on. 
don't hit. <laughs> uh, worth it. This game has a really twisted sense of humor, and I love it. Uh, it said no ship piece here, right? Yeah. Alright, so we just need to find the elevator. Uh, anyways, the trick here is to stay in the grass. So if I step onto here, I start sinking. If I step off to here, I'm good. Uh, so stay to the edge. If you get stuck in the very center of the sand, you are pretty much dead. Although, I guess since it's only level 7, or because I'm incredibly lucky, um, I, there aren't really that many enemies here, and certainly not the higher level enemies, so, yeah, can't complain. It could be worse. Much worse. And it will be worse. Much worse. Last time I played, the green was actually Icarus Wings. I, you know, it's not going to be Icarus Wings this time, but I do kind of want it. After that, the, uh, the green held, started to hold sentimental value for me, I guess. I hear you, telephone. You're probably right in the middle of the sand. Okay, there's another one. I gotta grab it. Okay, that doesn't really help. The elevator's probably in the top right, though. Uh, okay, let's drop this. Use this. Okay. So, although that decreased my health, that was actually just food. Um, it, it's basically random. It can either increase your health or decrease it, so it's um, not the best. And I'm not going to go bother picking up the other one. Because typically in a situation where I would need to risk that, it's going to end up killing me. Okay, so it's certainly not down here, unless there's a secret right here. Negative. Alright. Let's move on then. Um, I'm going to go straight up first, and then we'll try top right. I think I just saw a boogeyman. You see the little shadows moving. The boogeymen are another one of my favorite enemies, actually. Don't worry, though. I'm not going to go seek them out. They'll find me. Uh, let's see, it's not in the water, so... Let's go up. Ah, lucky. I was hoping it would be here. Otherwise, I would have to trek all the way around to there. Now, I don't remember how many points you actually need to level up, but because there are no dangerous enemies here, I'm just gonna... Okay, we got Santa Claus. The way this works, you have to sneak up on him, because apparently his eyesight is based on movement. And if you get him, he drops his presents and jet packs away. It, it makes sense. Alright, that's a duplicate. In fact, I have both of those? No, just one. So I'm going to go ahead and use it, step away from the edge in case something horrible happens. Um, here goes. Sweet. Tomatoes are an offensive item. I'm just going to keep what I have. Uh, basically, they you throw them and they deal damage. There's also a, another variation, which is the slingshot, which actually does has a longer travel distance. Fires a bit faster. But uh, tomatoes, can't complain about that. Although, admittedly, there are certain enemies that it's not even worth your time to... Okay, come on, don't be doing that. <laughs> there are certain enemies that it's actually not even worth your time to fight, because they either have so much health, or they're just capable of killing you so quickly that, yeah, your only real option is to run in certain cases. Like with the, uh, the, uh, the trucks that shall not be... There he is again. Get out of here, Santa. <laughs> you have to admit, that's pretty funny. Anyways, moving on. 
Let's go take the elevator. My guess would be that at like 200 I'm going to level again. Might be like every 50 points, but who knows. I'm sure plenty of people know, I'm just not one of them. Next. Seems like as good a point as any to take a drink of water. Water good. Uh, still no ship piece. Okay. I guess that works. Maybe. It's actually better to get more at the beginning because... Oh, no, you don't. Screw you, buddy. There's my level up, and I hit it at 180 points. So, no, it's not every 50. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and use this. Root beer. Okay. Not the best. Not the worst. Root beer basically... is waiting for me. Alright, forget it. <laughs> I'm not going back for that. Uh, root beer restores a tiny bit of health. That's its utility. Uh, its side effect is that it causes you to burp, which means that you actually can't sneak by enemies uh, when they're asleep. So, if I try to sneak by, yeah, I'll just wake them up. Wow, juked. Notice that many of the enemies actually run faster than you. Oh, no, you don't. Little cyclone here. He basically picks you up and will drop you in a random place, which, more often than not, tends to be off the ledge. So I don't want any part of that. Now, if you have the original cartridge um, and look at the instruction manual, it will tell you that this guy is actually a sentient being. It's not just a whirlwind. It actively seeks you out and wants to be a jerk. Um, I'm not even going to continue exploring this. I'm just going to go up and hope I never fall down. Usually when you see sand, it's a good idea to get out of there as quickly as possible. Still no, no rocket ship piece. I'm in for an interesting late game. As I was saying, the plus side of... Um, oh, no, you don't. Okay. Had to do it. I don't want to get caught by that. Um, as I was saying, the plus side of getting the ship pieces early on is that when you get to the later levels, all you have to worry about is running to the exit, essentially. Um, because if you have to be looking for two separate things when there are ice cream trucks after you, that's a death sentence. A very grim, frozen, uh, sugary death sentence. Hello, opera singer. Well, there's the elevator. I think I'm going to continue exploring a little bit. Oh, there's a phone. I think I'm too late, though. Yeah. You have to be a little bit careful, because if you hit a ledge like that, as I said, you'll jump over it. Which, well, often leads to falling. Anyways, just for security and experience, I'm going to go ahead and explore a little bit more before moving up. How many ship pieces are left? Eight more scattered over basically... nope, 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 nope. Sixteen levels. Hmm. Ah. See, the problem here is when they hit me, they're probably going to knock me off the edge. I don't want that. There we go. Now, bees I can actually go faster than. Uh, the opera singer, by the way, you, you pay her three dollars, three bucks, sorry, and she will sing, killing all the enemies on the screen. Overpriced, but uh, because she sort of is a large target, you can actually use her to just block enemies, because she kind of follows you around. Mm, if that background is any indication, 
we might end up with sand on the next level. Let's hope it is no indication. Gosh dang it. <laughs> okay. Well, there is a ship piece here, so that's good news. Okay, shark. The sharks are obviously not one of the more dangerous enemies because they, well, they stay in the water. What was that one again? Rain cloud. Yes, I knew it. Um, however, if you are in the water and you happen to get attacked by a shark, um, let's just say you won't survive for very long. They make the Far Cry 3 sharks look like pansies, basically. That's what I'm getting at here. To be fair though, the Far Cry 3 sharks, though intimidating, are not really all that dangerous. I mean, do I need another unfall? Like... I'm gonna go ahead and use this, I guess, because I found several of them. Nice. That's the slingshot, as you can probably see if you have eyes. Rose bushes, right? Yeah, I don't need to keep multiples of those, probably. Um, I think the last thing I was talking about was sharks, and we're over that, so oh no you don't. I am making it my goal to not get hit by that. If you guys want to see what it does, get the game for yourself. Hmm, that's what I haven't talked about yet. Uh, now, although this was a Genesis, Mega Drive, whatever you want to call it, game, uh, you can actually acquire it on Steam, believe it or not. Sega has sort of ported it over. Um, I haven't played the port, so I don't know how it is. Uh... But it's still Toe Jam and Earl, so I mean, it's probably worth getting. Um, alternately, you could pick up the original cartridge for pretty cheap on eBay, I believe. Uh, I haven't checked the prices recently. I mean, I still got my cartridge, but... Um, it is sort of a cult classic game, though, so, you know, who knows, it might be expensive, but... Uh, there's also another way that you can play it um, on a computer that uh, doesn't necessarily involve paying money. But uh, I'm sure none of you would consider that. <clears throat> Anyways, uh, let's uh, let's move on. I've got two of those. I might as well. Ah, oh, yes. Okay. Yes, these are as good as they look. This is hands down the best item in the game. Uh, basically, makes you impervious to most damage because nothing can hit you. It allows you to navigate across gaps. Uh, and it just looks freaking awesome. Come on. Downside is that this runs out very, very quickly, uh, faster than other power-ups, in fact. You can see it's already blinking, and it's almost out already, so... They do that, I guess, to keep it from being OP. Although, honestly, no, you don't. OP for the player in Toe Jam and Earl is just, like, giving the player a fighting chance. <laughs> But, uh, anyways. Come on. That would be the most cruel thing if I got grabbed by that guy right as I'm about to go in the elevator. Ha! I've actually found most of the good presents at this point. I'm trying to think if there's anything... Is the boombox. The boombox is pretty cool. But I'm getting to the point where most of the presents that I'm going to open are actually going to be bad. And this is where risk-reward comes in. Hey look, it's the Dreamcast logo! Ah, Dreamcast. I miss these so. I say that, I actually have my Dreamcast hooked up to my, hooked up to my TV still. <laughs> Dreamcast is so great, but... Oh, not another one, come on. Alright, so the worst possible thing that could happen here is the Hula Dancer makes me da Gosh dang it. Well, I almost got away. Disregard what I was about to say. Um... It looks like I dropped an unfall. Do I still have my Icarus wings? Yes, okay. We're good. In a previous playthrough, 
I got lucky enough to have three Icarus wings at the same time, which is just amazing. Oh yes, perfect. Uh, unfortunately, I ran into one of those guys, and he dropped two of them. Alright, so I can do three. Uh, let's do that, that, and that. Alright, there's the total bummer. I'm pretty much set. That's really, really good. Uh, the boombox is really cool, but I'm gonna use that when I need it. Uh, basically what that does is... Okay, wait. I think this is a school book, then. Uh, we'll try it when I find the elevator. Uh, the boombox, yes. It basically makes all the enemies dance, um, which basically means they're distracted for a certain amount of time. Oh, I actually don't need to carry this with me, either. Again, if I pick up another one, it's still going to say total bummer, so it's not like I need to keep it to remind myself. And although I would technically get points for opening that, uh, probably not worth it. Unless I had, like, 50 extra lives or something, which, uh, does not happen in this game. Not another one, come on. Screw you guys. I'm going to the elevator. Uh, the little, like, wizard dude, the LARPer, um, will basically restore your HP for one dollar. Which is a deal. It's a good deal. Obviously, I just don't need it right now. There are times when, uh, health is a very valuable commodity. Oh, come on! Uh, what do I want to do here? This will work. The decoy does exactly what you would think it would do. Once again, it's a situationally life-saving present. Not another one! They're everywhere! Ugh. Can't deal with this. <laughs> what is this? Oh, I really hope the elevator isn't up there. But I think it might be. So many moles. Mole money, mole problems? I don't think that really applies here, does it? Uh, green was food, right? Yeah. Hmm. I would hate to have to burn another super high tops, but I think that might be what happens. We'll see. It's not worth the potential risk of losing the Icarus wings. Uh, once I get to the later levels, I guarantee those will save my life. I got two bucks, I might as well. It's going to be a school book, though. Oh. Well. Can't complain about that. Okay. So we're making another loop around. Mm. We'll go this way. Perhaps. Uh, no. We'll go... Uh, I don't know. I don't even know. I'm gonna wing it. That's what we're gonna do. I already went this way last time, but I didn't go bottom right, so we're gonna try that. Stop. Hula Dancer, please. Or Pliss, I guess. At least I haven't gotten into the situation yet where it's the Hula Dancer. <sighs> That's why I didn't go bottom right. Seriously, though, screw those guys. Yeah, because then I saw the road, and I was like, oh, look, a road, let's follow that. Well, let's not follow that. Let's pray that this is where I need to go. Okay, nope, not that way. I have a feeling I'm going to be burning another present. Well, maybe not. Playing the odds, we're going to go bottom right. Looks like he did give up chasing me, so I think I'm okay. Um, fudge Sunday, I will definitely take. Can't argue with uh, that health restore. Alright, it's got to be top right then. Yep, has to be. Um, 
the dance dance. It is charming, though. Aloha. Come on, say it. Alright, whatever. We'll leave. Let's try, uh... This way? Yeah, this looks promising. Okay. I guess I'm just gonna... Could you not, please? I guess I'm just gonna have to burn a super high tops. I'm not... Let's do it. Oh. It was all worth it, just for that. Money. I don't think it's up here. Nope. Okay, come on. Where the heck is it, then? Alright. Could be worse. Could be much worse. I... I don't even know. Okay, we're gonna try down here, then. You know, I could potentially try and lure all of, them in, uh, all of them into that. The enemies that deal damage will pop the decoy, and then, you know, can't be used anymore. But those guys actually deal no damage, so... Hmm. Money. Hmm. Oh, I think I see it over there on the left. Apologies to everyone who's been screaming at their computer screen for the last hour many minutes. Derp, 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 I'm dumb, etc. It's okay. I got lots of XP from uncovering all the map tiles. I mean, I knew the elevator was there, I just, you know... I just wanted to draw it out and make it suspenseful. More water. Ah, that's nice. Those are some 90s colors if I've ever seen them. Oh, no more ship pieces. This is really unpleasant. Okay, I would like another decoy, so... <laughs> Walk faster. There we go. Gosh dang it. Oh yeah, he doesn't get affected by it. Um... Oh yeah. How's that for thinking on my toes? It really wasn't that good. Well, I don't really want a total bummer, so I'm gonna have to pass you up on that one, good sir. I haven't opened that one yet. I should probably pick it up. I'll, I'll go ahead and use a doorway. I don't really need two of those. Oh, perfect. So useful. Thank you. What the heck? Oh, that was my decoy. The Cupid killed it. Okay, we're going to the right. I guess? No, nope, no, nope, we're going down. Because screw that guy. I have some very deep seated anger when it comes to those guys. Ah, oh, yes, the chicken. chicken army, or whatever that. I can't remember what they're called exactly. They're actually not that dangerous, but they are pretty charming. Well, 
I'm pretty sure it's over to the right, but I better check over here because I don't want to have to run all the way back. The nerd herd is one of the more the more random enemies when it comes to uh, tracking you. So you'll notice they kind of just run off on their own their own path. Although they, if I get close enough, they will certainly go for me. But it's not as bad as like the mole. Seriously, though, screw the mole. Um, yeah. That's another decoy, right? I think I'm in a safe spot. I'm going to use this. Oh yeah, spring shoes. Forgot about those. So, this is kind of like Rosebush. is not like the most useful thing in the game. However, as you can see, it's actually, once again, situationally, quite helpful. Oh, come on, that is just mean-spirited. You're coming over here. Aw, oh, the way he, like, turns around and looks at the camera like that, like, yeah, that's right, I'm gonna take all your presents, what are you gonna do about it? Mm. Like I said, I've got issues. Uh, <laughs> well, anyways, we managed to juke him, no problem. If I had tomatoes, buddy, you would be dead. So that puts us at uh, about halfway there, yeah? And I have this strange feeling that I'm being watched. Still no... Still no ship pieces. Oh, I'm in for a very eventful late game. Holy crap. This is actually, I, like, I'm actually getting legitimately worried that I'm not going to finish the run because of that. We'll see how it goes. That was the total bummer, I remember. So, I'm not going to bother with that. I'm finding so many unfalls, and I'm also finding so many moles. What is up with that? Here, I have a decoy. I got plenty. This has been a very good run as far as the presence, though. I can't deny that. I do see a boogeyman. Is it my imagination? Learn to aim, bro. Get skill. Hmm. Okay, well that was pretty uneventful. Um, whatever. Next level. Once you pass level 10, I guess you can't really complain too much about an uneventful level. That beat. Okay, finally. I got still 8 left, right? No, seven left. That's right, I got one more. I haven't opened this one yet, either. How many more presents are there? There's a school book, and... I'm trying to remember what else there is. I already opened Earthling, I already opened Total Bummer. Oh, I know what's left. Alright, we're saving this one for... Yeah. There's one more pretty cool present that I haven't found yet. And what we have here should be either a school book or that. Uh, regardless, I'll open it when we're about to go to the next level. Also sand. Come on. I hate sand. What was the line from uh, Star Wars Episode 2? It gets everywhere. <laughs> I don't remember, and I'm not taking the time to look it up. But yeah, that's what it was. Unlike everything here, where it's soft and smooth. Uh, anyways, let's let's uh, move on to the next topic, shall we? 
was that? Spring shoes, yeah. Alright, spring shoes, uh, again, potentially a lifesaver, so I'm more than happy to hold on to that. Oh, we got two of them. Alright, I'll, I'll try it. Let's see what happens. Yes! Tomato rain. It, like, I don't know, it's not really that dangerous. It just looks cool. I just saw Boogeyman. Oh, there's the shit piece. Sweet. Ouch. I say it's not dangerous and I get hit by it. Ooh, the Boogeyman. It can hit enemies as well, though, as well as you, so... Potentially helpful, but typically just won't hit anything. Looks freaking cool, though. Okay, I don't really want to jump back through the shark-infested waters, so I guess we're going to go around. More XP. And uh, although there was a boogeyman over there, and it is one of my favorite enemy designs, I'm not going to go actively seeking out enemies when I've made it to level 14. <laughs> That would be silly. Also, shark, stay in the water, please. That's where you belong. Okay. Six more. Six more. Ten, eleven levels. That's not bad. If I get lucky in like the next three levels, I'll have uh, ship pieces. I'll be in in a better state, State Farm. Surely that reference will not date the video at all. I seem to do that a lot. It's okay. What was this one again? Oh yeah, I forgot to use. Let's use. Let's use the other one. Why not? Rocket skates. Okay. I'm just hoarding things that are going to save my life. Ah, don't be doing that. It said no, no pieces, right? Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. me a pretty good indication that it's not down here. And I'm trying to remember what the heck this one was. It was something good, like tomatoes or something. Okay, I'm not dropping that. <laughs> Slingshot, okay. Slingshot is much better than Unfall, I think. Um, but... I'll just do this. Why not? I unfortunately have no use for your services anymore. I know every single present now. Uh, there's one that I haven't opened, but because it's the only one left, I know what it is. Um, I could use another decoy, certainly. Spring shoes, slingshot, unfall, rocket skates, switch Sunday, rose bushes, switch Sunday. I don't need this many unfalls, so. Did I just drop two? What the heck just happened? I don't know. Okay, moving on. I still really haven't encountered any of the really, really nasty enemies, so... Oh! There you are. There. I was looking for the opportunity to show. Well... That'll work. I kind of want to show off if this is the evil one. Oh, it's not. Yeah, that's the school book, I'm pretty sure. The evil mailbox is pretty funny, even though he is actually pretty deadly. It's a paradox. I, I kind of want to see the enemies, but I kind of don't. What was this one again? Come on, guys. Don't be like that.
Oh, I haven't opened that one either. Hmm. Well, I don't... I'm trying to remember how many presents are left, then. School book is one of them. I already found Earthling. I already found Randomizer. I already found Total Bummer. So that's pretty much everything deadly. Um, I already found Tomato Rain. I already found Tomatoes and Slings. Okay, we're going to uh, go ahead and use it see what happens. Alright, so this one's the school book, and I don't know what that other one is. Basically puts you to sleep, because it's boring. Okay, and my controls are only reversed, so left is right, up is down. Not a big deal. And my love for this world, I leave behind. More water? More water. This is like the smoothest run of this game that I've ever... Ah, I spoke too soon. Screw you. Let's bring, uh, rose bushes. Yeah. And I wasn't paying attention. No rocket ship pieces. Man. Some boogeyman up there. I didn't think that guy was supposed to be able to pop that. I don't know what happened. Maybe I put it down in the sand and... <sighs> well, that happened. Oh, it's fine. I'm, like, right here. Not a big deal. I do have an unfall, but eh. I've actually had an unfall save me before because I purposely jumped down when I was about to be killed and then used it. So I don't want to go using those all willy nilly. Anyways, I think the reason it popped is because I dropped it down in the sand, and it, like, sunk down. Well... I have a ton of fudge sundaes, don't I? Um... I don't really know what I want to do here. For now, I'm just going to try and get around him, I guess. Can we confirm, by the way? Ah, I see. That's why, that's why I came down here. I was going to say, can we confirm there's nothing down here? However, there is something down here. Oh, come on! I think he's going to still get me. Oh! Barely. As I said, it's completely possible that he catches me and I drop both of my Icarus wings, and that would be... That would be the worst. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna go through. I'm not gonna bother exploring. Not with the mole men about a boot. Seventeen. We're getting there. Can I get a ship piece on this level, though, please? Well, screw you, too. <laughs> All right. This is going to be... This is not good. Let's put it that way. Although, I don't know. Like I said, I'm doing really well as far as... Let's do that. Alright. I didn't want to go over there anyway. Well, actually, if he's up there, I guess I'm okay. I do like me some hamburger. That's for sure. Why not? That was quite wasteful, but, eh. It's all good. I have tons and tons of presents. But again, 
like I said, it's 100% possible that all of my lives get w uh, wiped out on a single level. And getting, like, double teamed by boogeymen is one of those situations in which that can happen. Oh no. Um... Um... I'm just gonna... Uh, you can't see it, but I'm actually shaking right now. Okay, maybe not, but still. Ugh. Let's just say I'm fortunate I encountered him right as I found the elevator, otherwise I probably would have just lost three lives. <sighs> Anyways, nothing happened. I didn't see any ice cream trucks or anything, so I think everything is good. There we go. Alright, here's the typical suburbanite. The man with the lawnmower. Once again, he is one of those people that will actively seek you out and try to horribly murder you, and in fact, I'm about to get horribly murdered. <laughs> There's death number one. And in the interest of getting out of here as quickly as possible, let's use these. Alright, so these two, I have no idea what they are. I am thinking, and I thought I'd gotten all the presents already, but clearly my memory is not all that great. We'll use them. Um, yeah, why not? Oh, well. Let's just have this guy. Oh, yeah, inner tube is a thing. Oh, a super high jump. Yes, okay. Sorry, I get I get really excited when I play Toe Jam and Earl. I... I don't even know. I just totally forgot about those. Yeah, super high tops can actually be found just as a present, not as the starting starting gift. Is this Dark Souls now? Oh, thanks for the extra life. I'm about to lose it. Oh, no, I'm good. Okay. One, two, three, four, five more. Have I even gotten this one? No. I have no idea. What else is even left? Inner tubes, super high tops, rocket skates I already got. No thank you. I'm not interested in buying what you are selling, sir. Who's back this way, right? The, the wise man? Impart unto me thy knowledge, O oh wise carrot man. Oh yeah, that's a thing. And five bucks is another present. Nope, no thanks. Alright, can't complain. Clearly, um... My memory of the game is not that great. I did just play it recently. Uh, I guess sort of a dry run, you would call it. But I didn't open the majority of my presents, actually. I ended up finding Icarus Wings really early on, and uh, that was that. Could you not? Thank you. It's another Fudge Sunday. Can always make room for that. Uh, the inner tube, by the way, you can, I mean, you can probably guess what it does. It basically keeps you afloat so you can swim without, uh, your health draining. Um, which, I guess, similar to some of the other presents, um, isn't the most amazing thing in the world. However, situationally, can certainly save your life. Doesn't protect you from sharks, though, so... And it's not the most useful thing, actually. So, I'm gonna drop it. Well, actually... I'm gonna use it. So, if I were to jump in the water now... Yeah. That's all. No reason to drop it, however, because, uh... 
I can get the XP for it. I already got the ship piece, yes? Good. Alright. Moving on. If this pace keeps up, this is going to be literally like the smoothest run I've ever had. Like I said, last time I played, I ended up with, uh, like I was on my last life. But, hey. Alright, that's good news. I've already forgotten what that one was. Is it an extra buck? Maybe? Possibly? It was. I pretty much have, like, gotten past actually using money. Like, I don't actually need to use money anymore, but, you know, I might run into a wizard and heal me or something. Or in, you know, worst case scenario. You know what? I'm not okay with that. You know, could end up next to an opera singer with a bunch of enemies after me. So, can't hurt is what I'm getting at. I like the road. I like the road very much. Alright, we got Fudge Sunday, Spring Shoes, and what was this one again? Root Beer. Eh. Fudge Sunday is superior to Root Beer. And I know it seems like I'm carrying a lot of Fudge Sundays because I am, but it is very much worth it. Alright, we'll go with that. Holy crap, so many. Alright, you know what? Ah, look at that. I can just, uh, do this. I know you're there. Ha! Ah. This is a rather expansive level. Telephone will remedy that slightly. Oh, oh no. Okay. I still have a ship piece though, right? Yep. So I gotta keep going. I don't want to actually get in there because it's gonna take me up to the next level and I don't really want that, so... I'm just gonna run away from this thing and pray that it doesn't catch me. Nah. Don't bother trying to kill the chickens, by the way. Um, it takes a little bit too long to really be a viable option. I mean, sure, they don't, like, hit you that often, but it's not worth your time, basically. Hey, wouldn't it be amazing if it was, like, right at the end of the road? Like, the literal end of the road, not the figurative end of the road? Hmm. So many men, so many boogies. I'm pretty good about this. I do have a posse on my tail, though, but, eh. I think I'll be okay. Okay. So, this game does have a, well, two sequels. One of them actually on the Genesis, and one on the Xbox, which I haven't played, and I've heard isn't very good. Um, I was surprised when I heard that a lot of people didn't like the sequel. Um, well, somewhat surprised. The sequel is completely different. Like, it, it has the same characters and the same sort of theme. However, it plays completely differently. Oh, no. That just happened. Um, well... Out of my hands now, right? Uh, anyways, it's actually a 2D platformer with a lot of really cool, unique elements in it, actually. Yes, yeah, screw you, too. I think I still have an unfall. If not, I might 
No. Whatever. It's not a big deal, is what I'm getting at that I fell down. It's really, really good, actually. Music is as good, possibly even better? I don't know. Um, the graphics are improved. The gameplay is actually pretty unique, even though it's a 2D platformer. There's a lot of exploration and secret hunting going on. Um, I may play through that one at some point. The problem with that one is that I'm not really as much, like, as familiar with it, I guess. So if I did play through it, I would miss a lot of stuff, and I don't know how happy I would be with that. But, eh. For now, we will focus on this, because, as I said, it's very possible that I'm still going to lose, so... Yeah. Although I am cautiously optimistic here because, again, I do have six lives, a whole bunch of presents, and uh, Icarus Wing is, is potentially an automatic clear of a level. Okay. There we go. Uh, anyways, yeah, Icarus Wing potentially can basically just clear a level for you if it's a, a smaller level. Nope. Oh, come on. Really? Incidentally, tapping buttons here I don't think actually does anything, so... We play the waiting game. Gosh dang it. <laughs> At least it's not ice cream trucks. At least it's not ice cream trucks. Oh, come on. I'm just gonna use the unfall this time. And, I believe, yeah, confirmed, I think, the unfall um, will always take you back to where the elevator would drop you, so it, it won't just randomly drop you, otherwise you could end up, like, on that island, and that would be bad. So, yeah, it's, it's pretty much a good thing. Okay. Uh, yeah, we can go this way. Why not? Por que no? Please don't catch me again. Okay. We're good. Nope, we're almost good. Would you not? Go I don't really want to use a slingshot for this guy. There we go. As you can see, the Fudge Sundays can go pretty fast. I'm not going to use my other one yet, or other two, or however many I have that I wasn't paying attention to. Six more levels. Alright, we got another one. Yeah, see, it's a good thing I didn't use my heels. Okay. We got no sand. We got the ship piece right there. We got three more pieces in six levels. Or, well, five levels. This is another pretty large level. I've already forgotten rocket skates, okay. I had two of those, right? Yeah. Okay. Sweet. Aw, oh, look at that. Well, let's uh let's do it. Oh look, even the game's congratulating me. No, I'm just going to get horribly murdered on one of these levels. Maybe even this one. Oh, I still have tomatoes, actually. That went well. Boogeyman does a lot of damage, but he's pretty fragile, so... Tomatoes deals with him pretty well. I know you're up there. 
Oh. Close. I'm, my guess would be that it's up there, and I'm gonna have to find like a little secret connecting area, but eh, we'll see. Oh, come. <sighs> mm, could be worse. It's very tempting to use your super high tops in a you know, situations such as this, but... Mm, not a good idea, really. Just take the road, uncover a few more map tiles. Grab another buck. I don't know how many more, more ranks there are. I think uh, I'm nearing the end of the, the level up ranks. I got 470 points, so my guess would be 500 is the next rank, but what do I know? In fact, let's uncover a few more map tiles in the interest of expediting this process. Yeah, okay. Nope, 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 nope. That guy will wreck me, so. One shot it is. I don't think I'm about to get wrecked anyway. Ha! Money. Okay, let's leave. I'm basically at the same amount of health that I was. I used the present, and I got a little bit of XP, so, yeah, we will move on. If I get there fast enough, I'll still have the slingshot for the next level, so, yeah. Why not? Yes, yes, confetti, I know, you're very happy for me. Okay. So last time we went left, this time we'll go right. Oh, if that is the phantom mailbox, or the... not phantom, but the evil mailbox, you can't damage him as far as I know. Oh, look at that. Thank you, game. You're so kind to me. I don't even know what to say. I got four more levels and three sets of Icarus Wings. I am golden right now. No ice cream trucks in sight. Of course, I've just said that and jinxed it, but... Eh. Eh? No ship... Oh, okay. Well, we know what to do here, don't we? Actually... Three sets of wings are going to run out really quick. Let's boombox it. Ha! I don't think I've ever killed one of those before. I... Oh gosh, there's another one. I am screwed. So... That's the first time I've ever killed one of those. I feel empowered. So empowered that I'm just going to tuck my tail between my legs and run away. Well, I say run, but eh, not exactly. Hey, I haven't opened that one. Run out so I can grab the present. Oh, I hope I don't drown. Okay. So what in the crap could this be? Five bucks. Yeah, that's right. I did actually know that that was going to be five bucks. 
don't care about the money so much, but the uh, experience points are good. Five nine, uh, four ninety nine. I'm gonna hit five hundred right about now. Okay, it's not five hundred. <laughs> hmm. Seriously though, can we just reflect on this for a moment? I killed the ice cream truck. I feel like I've overcome like some deep-seated fear inside of me. This is like the part in the horror movie where, like at the very end, um, the hero or heroine thinks that he or she has killed the monster or whatever, and then like right before the credits, the monster is actually there again. That's basically this moment. Can I grab the pie without grabbing the moldy bread? Yes, I can. And I have a terrible feeling that this is a dead end. And look at that. Okay. Um, this is level 22, 23, 21, 25. I'm going to go ahead and use this. Telephone, where are you? Okay, that helps a little bit. Um, I'm guessing it's just right to the left of me. Right to the left, yes. Oh no. See, what, what did I say? Is that a second one or is that the same one? I don't know. Either way, I'm not particularly happy about this situation. Alright, I gotta use another one. Um, I mean, that would wipe out, like, all of my lives, so... I was fortunate to have these. I don't remember what that was, but... Whatever. Please be over here. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to go back to the ice cream... The ice cream alley. Mm. Well, this is good. Hmm, I can't risk making it over that gap because these are going to run out, like, right now. Yeah. Okay. Rain cloud, that's what it was. Hmm. It's probably the down there bottom right. I think I'm willing to take that risk. Uh, it might actually be less of a risk, however, because I'm avoiding the ice cream trucks. Let's just hit the road. The spring shoes, by the way, do not make you go faster. You go at exactly the same speed. Um, you just get the ability to jump. Yeah, there we go. Excellent. You don't scare me at this exact moment, because I know I can get away from you. That was a nasty level. There were like five or six of those things, but... I'd use two Icarus Wings, but uh, can't complain about the way that went down. Certainly. Alright, uh, I have three left, which means there's going to be one on all three levels. So this is where it gets interesting, like I said, because that means I have to basically explore twice as much, potentially. Whoops. So here's hoping it goes well. Perfect. Oh, stop it. Rude. Much Sunday, so I'll use one of these. So close, I can taste it. It tastes like funk. I'll leave it up to your imagination to decide what that tastes like. Uh, 
I will uh, avoid the dentist for now. And instead, I will eat french fries. That would have been more effective if... There we go. Instead, I will eat pancakes. There we go. See, now the joke works. Why not? <laughs> that never gets old. I did a lot of damage, though, so I don't really want to experience that again. Again, I, I kind of do, though, because it's so funny. Alright, I'm a homie now. Forgetting what this one is? Yeah, tomatoes, okay. Useful. Yusufuru. You notice you can only throw in eight directions, so. Oh no. It can be a little bit difficult to hit with sometimes. That's gonna kill me? Yeah. It's fine. I didn't really want to use a fudge sundae there. I don't remember how many it takes to kill this guy. Four, looks like. Not bad. Not bad. Lost an extra life. Not a big deal. At this point. I'll take that for sure. Oh, show. This is another really large level. See what I mean? Takes too many. Although in that case, because I was completely safe, I just went ahead and did it. Hope it's down here and not like top right corner. That would suck. Shark. Get owned. You can't actually kill the shark, by the way. But what else am I going to do with those last several seconds of tomatoes? I've never heard seconds used as a measurement for tomatoes before, by the way. But there's a first time for everything. Including a first time for beating Toja Mineral without dying to the ice cream trucks? Maybe? We'll see. Cautiously optimistic, as I said. I don't remember what that was. It was something that wasn't all that good. Like inner tube, I think. Yep. Okay. Um I guess it's top right then. Can I I think I can jump across this gap. Yeah, I can make that. Well, I could if I... Okay. I guess I used all my spring shoes. We shall take the long way around. The very long way around, in fact. That soundtrack, though. There's actually a... I think they're a Brazilian band, actually. They're called Game Boys. And they do sort of like jazz renditions of um, video game music. So they've got like Sonic and Mario. But they did a, uh, a version of the main theme for Toe Gem and Earl. It was quite good. Uh, again, that's they're Game Boys, and I believe they're Brazilian. Oh, what the... Alright. I'm okay with that. I don't remember what that present was. I kind of want it. Oh yeah. That could potentially save me. 
let's use the uh, rain cloud and head on in. Rain, rain, go away. Two more. Feeling pretty good. Hopefully nothing comes up to uh, counter those feelings of goodness. Alright, we're going to throw caution to the wind here. Alright. Oh gosh dang it. <laughs> I threw caution to the wind and it came back and hit me in the face. Oh come... You can't actually turn completely, you can only turn in 90 degree angles when you have the rocket skates, so... That's what just happened there. It's okay. That's what happens when you don't respect uh, Toe Jam and Earl. It does things to you. Anyways, I still have one set of Icarus wings. So... I should be okay. I don't remember where the elevator takes you on this one in relation to the other elevator, so I might end up using my super high tops here. We shall see. Nah, I should be okay. Well, eh, 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 nah, I'll just walk it. Or swim it. Like I said, it's quite useful. Sometimes. Okay. I'm so close. So close. Alright. So I know that the elevator is due east, I guess that would be. Super high tops are going on, and we're gonna... As quickly as possible... Oh, look at that. This game is too kind today. It's just the nature of it, though. Um, you know, you could very, very well get a level set that kills you in the first three stages. It's all... And the luck of the draw. You have to believe in the heart of the cards and all that, that nonsense. Alright. This is it. Last level. Um, if I come out of the elevator and there are like three ice cream trucks there, I will probably die of a heart attack, so... If I just suddenly stop moving, that's why. Oh. <laughs> can't uh, can't do that for that long. Well, I wonder what's gonna happen here. <laughs> I didn't even care. That was worth it just for whatever. I don't know. For whatever reason, it was worth it. Alright, alright. I can dig it. Let's, uh, let's, let's give that another shot, shall we? I like this background a lot. It's one of my favorites. <laughs> so if anyone ever asks you, Hey, what's your favorite Toe Jam Mineral level transition background? And say, well, that one. Anyways, let's uh, let's let's move on. I got so much crap. I'm gonna eat all the foods, drink all the root beers, and other things such as those. 
I mean, I basically won at this point. Oh, I didn't get, like, struck by lightning or something when I said that, so that's good. I was waiting for it. That's not technically programmed into the game, but, you know. If you've played this before, you know what I mean. So, because this is level 25, it's the last level. There we go. Um, there is no elevator here. Only a ship piece. Three UBs. So, that's it, really. Um, let's go ahead and win, then. Uh, hold on, I have to win in style here. That's awesome. You may notice that's actually the drum beat from the, like, theme song. Just listen. Alright, uh... Alright, that's it. And there was much rejoicing. I don't know what to say. That went much more smoothly than expected. Shake it. So there's a little bit left after the credits. Um, take a look at that. But in the meantime, um, that's the game. Now, as I said, uh, if you choose a random world, the levels are going to be different every time. So there's actually a pretty good amount of replay value here. Uh, again, it's that roguelike element. Uh, you never get the same playthrough twice. So, while, you know, sometimes you get this, sometimes, like I said, you get the uh, the one that kills you on the third level. Um, but no, it's good. It's, it's really good. Like I said, one of my favorite games. Um... I mean, just not even, like, favorite retro games or whatever, just favorite games, period. It's really good. You can check it out on the Sega Genesis, on Steam, or on that other thing that shall not be mentioned that is actually emulator there. I said it. You know what I was talking about. But however you get this game, just get it. It's really, really good. And now we have made it back to our home planet of Funkatron. That's a real thing. It looks kind of like a pellet swapped Earth, doesn't it? But we won't get into that. The second game actually takes place on Funkatron. Um, so there are like a few things you can find if you run around. There's um, if you just follow the road, there are some like people will talk to you. I think there's like a secret sort of thing if you go off somewhere. We'll just follow the road for now, and maybe we'll take a little peek around. But, um, yeah, that's the game. Um, what's up, guys? Trixie is waiting. Yeah, I'm trying to remember where Trixie is, actually. Um, we'll, we'll try and find her. But, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Um, I enjoyed playing it. Uh... <laughs> If you'd like to see me play the second one, I will consider it. I, like I said, I don't feel as confident in that one because what did you bring me? Oh, little brats. Um, but I mean, I, I, I could, I've beaten it before. Just there's a lot of stuff that you can miss even if you beat it. So, well, we'll see. We shall see. In the meantime, these are some funky looking trees, some jamming looking trees, if you will. Uh, okay. Let's move on. <laughs> uh, otherwise, you know, thanks very much for watching if you've stuck around this long through the video. I'm gonna faint. And, uh, 
we'll just make our way. I know there's a lady up here somewhere who says that there are no hedgehogs here. Which is obviously a little Sonic reference, but I think you might have to like swim through the water to get to it. Like, whatever. We're just gonna we're gonna finish up here. Sup, Earl. And that's it. <laughs> I love the way their families are portrayed. <laughs> like Earl's dad, he's got like a tie, he just looks exactly like Earl, just with a tie, a hat, and a cigar. His mom's got like Marge Simpson hair. Joe Jam's got his twin little sisters. Anyways, like I said, thanks very much for watching. I'll see you next time.